Aquarius, 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 what is popping, honey? How are you guys doing for the month of July? <laughs> Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. This is your first time viewing my channel. Hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, this is your first time viewing. I want to thank everybody, even if it's not your first time here, for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the love, the comments, all of that. The uplifting, the enlightenment. Thank y'all. I, I can't thank y'all enough. I really am appreciative for that, okay? Uh, this will be from the mid-month of July, the 15th to the 31st, okay? For the sun, moon, rise, and Venus, as well as the cross watches of Aquarius, all right? Um, this is not a personal damn reading. It's, um, this is a general, okay? General, general, meaning generally it may or may not apply to your ass. If it does not, don't come for me. Check your sun, moon, and rise, and Venus signs, and maybe you can piece your, piece your shit together. Okay, so um, intuitively Aquarius, what I feel for you guys is a lot of y'all are literally kind of standing in the way of your own Cinderella story, to be honest with a lot of y'all. Um, I feel like a lot of y'all have come to run with your twin flame, okay? And some of y'all is someone who is possibly close to a soulmate or close to someone of that nature. And a lot of y'all are feeling kind of... If you about it, you worry about what everybody else gonna think versus your own happiness as an Aquarius. To hell with what everybody else gonna think. What what is it that makes you happy? Some of y'all are reminiscing on things from the past uh, regarding a soulmate. Okay, some of y'all are kind of in a regretful energy as well as uh, an accepting energy. However, it's one that is in fear of moving forward based on how you feel things is going to go or what you feel things are going to or what, what you feel things uh, might end up being. Okay, so um, the divine is calling you to be more optimistic, okay? Between this mid um, half of July, a lot of y'all are going to have some hella spiritual awakening experiences. Some of you all may have um, a out of body experience, as a matter of fact, to be very honest with you. Um, this is not to scare you. This is, the, you are to embrace um, this portion of this transition into the age of Aquarius. You are to embrace your change for a lot of y'all are spiritual teachers, okay? So because of that, you have to encounter this change in order to move forward on your journey and help other people, okay? All right, so that's what I have for my Aquariuses. Aquarius, um, I did pull from the Dreams of Gaia, Gaia Tarot deck for you guys. What I got was the Counselor. I also get from this, some of y'all could actually be having a new, Again, your twin. Um, and some of y'all, y'all twin flame is a Pisces. So the divine is giving y'all to balance y'all feminine energy, feminine and masculine energy. But some of y'all is definitely a Sagittarius, okay? But the divine is leading y'all to balance y'all feminine and feminine energies, okay? Um, you, Aquarius, like, again, a lot of y'all spiritual teachers. Feminine and masculine energies, I'm sorry. I had a whole moment. A lot of y'all are spiritual teachers, okay? Some of y'all have this energy around y'all, but some of y'all is definitely Pisces, okay? You see the two wheels, the two fish, all right? A lot of y'all, as y'all intuition continues to glow, grow, your third eye continues to be booming, okay? You have this new form of connection with someone, okay? And I feel like it's definitely the ace. It's the ace. It's, this would be kind of like the Ace of Cups, okay? So it's definitely a beginning full of passion. It's a divine beginning. However, I feel like a lot of y'all are worried about the integrity of the relationship because, again, I feel like y'all dealing with somebody who's close to a soulmate of yours, okay? Aquarius, I feel like a lot of y'all are kind of having mis mis misconceptions about the people who are around you, okay? I feel like in, in the midst of it, a lot of y'all are moving through your journey with this strength, okay? This strength and this wisdom, okay? You see? the cheetah okay with the strength okay y'all are moving with strength okay moving forward from your past and still shining your light even because you understand and you accept that you have all this strength behind you you have the wisdom of the owl some of y'all might actually see y'all um y'all animal uh, your symbolic animal this month may actually be the owl the owl is wise okay the owl is very intuitive the owl sees everything uh they everything from um a high from sitting on like a high damn, they're the overseer, okay? I can't think of the word I want to use, but some of y'all, some of y'all got a few snakes around y'all, and 
some of y'all with the snakes that are around y'all, I feel like y'all kind of viewing these people as snakes or people who you have to watch out for later. But ultimately, if you just follow your heart, okay, your integrity is what brings you to bring you towards your fulfillment, okay? Doing what's right. Because you are counselors, because y'all are have this counseling energy, okay? Some of y'all are having to balance the feminine as well as the uh, the masculine aspect of yourselves, okay, on this journey moving forward, all right, and you will be learning how to, because I feel like a lot of y'all have this counselor in your energy, for most of y'all, it is a twin flame, okay, for some of y'all, y'all have, this person came in to bring you this balance, okay, this love, all right, you see the fish for y'all, some of y'all is definitely Pisces with the fishes, okay, but Look at this lady. She looks so regretful, okay? She's kind of crying over spilled milk in the past, even though she has all of this abundance and all of this fruition. She has everything in fruition, everything in abundance around her, but she's kind of crying over the past. This, this will be like the five of cups, okay? So this, this is the five of water, but this lady is literally regretful, okay? She has all of these things just blossoming for her, all of this fertility, this fertility, fertile energy ready to be um grown into something great ready to expand into something beautiful but she's kind of regretful and i feel like the regretfulness is coming from what other people are going to think like you're going to lose integrity in the eyes of other people will be with following your happiness but you are a counselor aquarius you have to go through this journey you have to embrace this journey and embrace the, i'm sorry the lessons that come with it y'all have so much strong it's so much Energy that feels so familiar to Sagittarius. When I ask Spirit who was next, ironically, it puts y'all right after Sagittarius. So some of y'all could definitely be connected to a Sagittarius as well. Okay, and that person is kind of going into a you or both. They're going into balancing that masculine and feminine energy and kind of getting a newfound clarity, a new, a better understanding towards things that maybe you were having issues with understanding in the past. Okay? Okay, so I do see, uh, I also pulled the Crystal Angels deck. Okay, a message from there. I got Topaz. It says, forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. So I do feel like a lot of y'all are reminiscing on things from the past. And instead of seeing how the situation has grown you, okay, and what you've learned from the situation or how you've overcome those hurdles, you kind of stuck on the hurt from it. So the angels, your angels, my angels, your angels are calling you to um, be more optimistic as far as uh, learning from your past, okay? Don't be a victim of your past, but definitely move forward in a way that you're learning from your past, that you actually attain that wisdom in order to move forward, okay? And also, like Sagittarius, okay, you also got Peridot, okay? Life lessons. You can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing that they contain. So, again, I feel like a lot of y'all are needing to release the energy of someone, okay, if you have moved on from this person and ran into your twin, you're going to have to release the energy of that past uh, lover, um, because I do feel like a, there's like a regretful energy, but you kind of standing in the way of your own silver screen movie, baby, you know? Yeah, some of y'all definitely have uh, possibly a younger water sign, someone that you definitely know already, someone possibly from your past, okay, or you have love trying to form, okay, and this love is coming in to assist you and helping balance things out in your life, okay, but I feel like Aquarius, either you or someone else, but I feel like this is Aquarius, is stuck on the past, possibly with someone who you have children with, okay, or possibly in your head, maybe feeling like, okay, I'm not good enough, I don't have this, and I don't have that, and kind of worried about the things that you don't have, okay, some of you possibly were, some of you are internal conflict regarding possibly a younger water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, I feel like you don't have as much clarity as you feel like you don't have as much clarity to move forward, okay, in love with whomever this is, because this also may be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, sad that you were fighting with, possibly in the past, but there's definitely love there, and in order for y'all to move forward, there's going to need to be balance, okay, change could be coming to uh, some form of family dynamic as well, all right, and it's a good change, it's coming in for the betterment, Aquarius, actually, you're going to get your wish, you are showing up in your own reading, Aquarius, you're definitely 
thinking about or reminiscing in the past, possibly regarding someone who you have children with, okay? But the divine is bringing balance into your life, okay? Trying to restore that balance in the way that maybe you used to look at things, okay? So that you can move forward, all right? In a passionate way, okay? For some of y'all, y'all definitely could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Strong emphasis on the Saggy, okay? But if you, I feel like you're waiting for this person to communicate with you. For some of y'all, this will be esoteric communication, trust your dreams, okay? I feel like right now, now, because you're going through that spiritual awakening, this could be that actual awakening that I spoke about as well. But some of y'all, y'all could have uh, someone who has deceased over, cross over on the other side, communicating with you in your dreams, possibly giving you closure to things that you um, possibly had issues with in the past. This is for someone who had maybe a, de a, a deceased soulmate, okay? Yeah, it's, it's the divine is needing you to get out of this regretful energy, okay? You still have two cups standing. Move forward in a positive way and don't move away from your past. The fact that you got the three of rods, okay? For some of y'all, the divine is wanting y'all to know that there is still love in the situation in a family dynamic with a fire sign, okay? However, you have to move away from the past, okay? Because some of y'all are not making a decision, all right, about going choosing any option. Some of y'all just want to live in a turbulent past when there's nothing but beauty ahead of you, okay? I feel like some of y'all are going to be juggling possibly an air, I'm sorry, a water sign, uh, a water sign, an earth sign, or a fire sign, okay? This could be a fire sign in the past that was juggling yourself, okay? Yourself as well as a, a water or earth sign, all right? That you will be uh, kind of cutting through the bullshit with that, okay? So, Newfound clarity is coming regarding this fire sign. This fire sign is going to be communicating with you, and that communication is going to bring you balance. Now, they may say some shit that you don't like, okay? It may You may get some information, even with them dreams. You may get information that you don't like or see things that you don't like, okay? It could also be uh, involving a, a mother of some sort, or some type of mother and figure could also be involving maybe children from um, another family. But I feel like... A lot of y'all are definitely holding on, holding on to a fire sign, or holding on to the thoughts of the person, to the, your perspective or surrounding a fire sign. Okay, a lot of y'all are definitely holding on to your money, and you're not wanting to. Some of y'all keeping y'all passion, keeping y'all feelings, keeping y'all, keeping y'all love close to your chest. Okay, some of y'all will be keeping it close to your chest, but the divine is needing you to communicate. Okay, some of y'all will be getting clarity regarding possibly a three-party situation from the past. Some of y'all. If this person does not communicate with you, for some of y'all, it's three people in my opinion. There, one of them I know. This person will definitely be communicating with you via dream, okay? Oh, man. All right. So I feel like some of y'all are getting clarity on a burdensome situation in order to move forward in love, okay? Some of y'all are wanting to move forward, okay? Possibly with the water sign. This is definitely a younger water sign. Some of y'all could also be finding that y'all pregnant possibly by a water by younger water sign and this is burdening this shit out of you you were not ready and i feel like that's the situation that i'm talking about with some of y'all worried about what somebody else gonna think okay some of y'all need to have patience some of y'all are wanting to some of y'all don't know what y'all want to do y'all don't know if y'all want to move forward with the air sign or uh or sagittarius or pisces okay uh but it's the divine is calling asking y'all to be patient okay and actually balance out those energies of of that negative and that positive okay because what you don't know is why you keeping your feelings close to your chest, all right? If you actually go forward and work on this relationship, possibly with this Pisces or with this Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or with this fire sign, there is victory in doing so. But someone has to be willing to move forward, to make the move to forgive and communicate and not give a fuck about what nobody else thinks, okay? Everybody not going to like your decision-making skills, but this also, this definitely requires some form of give and take, okay? Some of y'all feel like the other person could be giving more to y'all than y'all are to them, okay? Because you want to keep your feelings close to your chest based on your past experiences, y'all, but this is a twin flame divine union you understand this person looks at you like you could be the mother of their children this person looks at you as the empress they look at you you balance their world they're coming in to balance your world for some of y'all most of y'all this is your gift you manifested this you called this into your life with your high vibration through your experience let that hurt go put that hurt down because you ain't got nothing coming forward but passion, victory, divine love. Some of y'all got children. Congratulations on the, on, on the babies, okay? Just have a little patience and get over what was and move into what is and what can be, okay?
please, for me, baby, get over what was for some of y'all. Y'all going to be starting new businesses, getting your business off the ground. Congratulations. Or for those of you who already have a business, your business is going to be booming. You're going to have a shift in your business, okay? Because I feel like you're shifting understanding. Your spiritual journey, you are awakening into a higher being, a higher level of con of consciousness. Okay, and because of that spirit is not going to allow you to stand still. These past issues and these past feelings that you're feeling regarding the past, you're going through that because you need to purge. You need to purge it out so that you can be your greatest, best self in moving forward because spirit is trying to move you forward in a positive way. Stop crying over spilled milk. Stop worried about the one that got away. Stop worried about that shit if it's not going to grow you moving forward. Okay? If you want to communicate with somebody about your feelings, especially if it's a tourist, communicate that shit because there could be... There could be a passionate new beginning, even with the Aries, Leo, Sag, as well as the water sign. I feel like this water sign is coming in and just throwing y'all all off your game. For 90% of y'all, it's your twin. Boom. Deal with it. Move forward. You have a beautiful Cinderella story waiting to write itself, but you want to live in the past. Well, somebody was acting ass. Move over that. You're standing in your own way, okay? Bounce back, baby. Balance that shit. You are the counselor. I love you very very much this is what i have for you all for mid-month july if you need a personal reading that information can be found within the description hit me up okay i'm not 100 percent booked i do have openings i love y'all very much and toodles boo